a residential roof collapse. It has destroyed the home for a large group of apartment tenants. This is in north central Dallas. This happened in the lower Greenville area on Marquita Avenue. At least 30 men, women and children all directly impacted by this. CBS 11's Alexis Wainwright with one of those tenants who was inside at the time when all of this happened. It was pretty scary. Denise Hodges is still in shock as she gathers what she can after being displaced. You don't really think that's going to happen to you where you live, you know? She is just one of the 31 people without their apartment after a part of the Marquita Court apartment's roof collapsed. Hodges says she was inside her first floor apartment with her husband and two kids at the time. I was kind of just dozing off on the couch watching a movie with my son and um, all I know is my husband came inside and he was just like, you guys need to get your shoes on and we need to go. Dallas Fire says when they responded to the call around 3.30 Sunday, the roof of this two-story apartment complex had already collapsed. There were 12 apartments in the building where this happened. Out of abundance of caution, they also evacuated the building attached by a breezeway. There are 34 units total, three were vacant. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and as Hodges tries to figure out what's next, she still has a smile on her face, thankful that her, her family, and their pets made it out. I try to be optimistic in kind of tough situations, so kind of keep the mood up. The American Red Cross is assisting those who were displaced. Dallas Fire says that the property manager has to secure the property, then have the building assessed to decide what's next. In Dallas, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. A Dallas Fire also says that property manager has to figure out exactly what will happen with those residents' cars that are currently parked in the building's underground parking area.